here on Carolina Women here at Hilton Head Capital Partners having an absolutely wonderful time. And we're talking about seniors and aging in place. And I think we just get better as we get older. Christy Bender has joined us again. Bruce Wood is here today. And we're going to kind of take up where we left off. Erin um, had a wonderful question. I think everybody's been dying to get the answer for that. Yeah, just in terms of the client that you take on and them having this voice and you get to be the liaison with the family members so that their wishes are truly executed. That's right. So my client is the senior. Yes. yes. So even if the children are paying for the service, the client is the senior. Mm -hmm. So I need to take my direction from them mm -hmm. and of course there's some boundaries there, right? Sure. You have to do things that are going to be safe for the senior. But if they want that, you know, painting on the wall because it means something really significant to them or this little, you know, china uh, decorative yes. doll over here or You'll something. Work it in. We work it in. And you exactly. Make sure those because the children don't will slip say, up. "Oh, mom doesn't need yeah, that." Right. right. You know, you, Right. You don't know what the so, sentiment is going to be to that's that right. person. And so exactly. I want to understand what's most important right. for the senior, where is their favorite spot in the home, and I'd like to try to replicate that in there. their new living you environment. Gave us, I, really love that. I do too, and you mm -hmm. gave us a really good example during the break of one of your clients, and I think it sums up what you do beautifully, mm -hmm. you know, from going here your client who lived here, here, and here, and now is moving elsewhere. Sure, you know, because of our demographic here, people coming to retire and age out yeah. in the low country, their baby boomers are oftentimes out of state. Right. They're not here uh, locally to help them with this transition, but that can all be choreographed oh, with yeah. the but family sometimes they're long distance. With that responsibility, with, but they're disconnected. Right. The day -day. Or they don't even know where to start. Correct. So there's a couple, for example, that I'm helping in Sun City. They're relocating to assisted living facility in Baltimore mm -hmm. to be close where their to kids family. Are. I love That's this. right. Yep. So they have a senior mover on that end that I'm coordinating with that provided the floor plan for me of this a senior living. Mm -hmm. And so of her favorite furniture pieces and his favorite furniture yeah. pieces, making sure that those get accounted for and could fit in the new living environment. You know what's so interesting for me with this whole discussion is peace of mind. I mean, listening to you and what we've gone through with our parents, it's just, it would be have been so nice to have someone who was sort of the ringleader mm -hmm. or at the pinnacle here to help us navigate it's this very process. Comforting, yes, I think right. when they arrive in Baltimore, we'll and just handle all items. the logistics. But the towels are hung up, the artwork's on the wall. They're there to greet them for move-in day, mm -hmm. like I would here. Mm -hmm. And then I check back a week later. How are you doing? You know, who, who it's pretty are special. You, exactly. How are you getting your clients? Is it Aaron and I who are calling you? Is it me as a senior saying, "Look, I'm." 70 and I'm thinking in the next 10 years, can you help me sort of put together a plan? Yes, so that's exactly right. But in addition to that, there's a national trade association called NASM. It's National Assisted Senior Moving Managers is okay. what it stands for. It's, that and was very good by the way. There's a network, I know how to think about that. <laughs> and so if you go in and you put in your zip code, I would pop up, mm -hmm. okay, Got it. or vice versa. So if you came to me and said, hey, I could use your help on this end, but can you help identify somebody on the other end? That's cool. That could have, um, the answer is yes. Oh, so they offer classes, training, certifications, all kinds of support for senior movers because it is an, a niche that's um, a unique one and it takes, it takes, um, it takes Some, a lot of the stress out of well, dedication, dedication and commitment in a very compassionate way. Mm -hmm. Fun fact, ready? Mm -hmm. 2027, 52% of the U.S. is going to be 50 and over. Mm -hmm. Biggest transfer of wealth happens, I, I know, I have no life, right? Fun <laughs> fact, but it's gonna happen in 2027. That's right, that's and right. And that's when that's right we're around the corner. See, well, it is right around the corner, and I remember the statistic coming but out. But we need to plan for it now. Yes, that is have exactly Have a plan right. now. It's often the mistake that seniors wait too long to right. figure it out. We did. Then what happens? They're either not in the capacity to figure it right. out, because those ch baby boomer children are already managing their money for them and 
now they're they're having to make some quick haste decisions maybe yes. it's not the best one exactly. well i can't wait to learn more Sorry. about this this isn't my i know as you get going it's like wait we there's need so much hours. to talk about please yeah. come we back and chat with, with us it it is, a year ago. <laughs> exactly it is fascinating it really is thank you Bruce. thank you thank you all for joining us here on carolina women please have a safe and wonderful week bye-bye